Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to give internet access to your locally hosted large language model uh, using Python. And what I mean by internet access is that the model will be able to answer questions based on information from the internet. And the library we're going to be using for this is called LLMX, which is a simple Python library for quickly implementing LLM powered um, agents. So the first thing we'll do is we'll pip install LLMX. Now it shouldn't install again because I already have it, but yeah. So once we have that done, we can start importing the things we need. So from LLMX, we're going to be importing um, the online agent. Uh, and for our example, we'll also, we'll also use the PDF reader and the Olama chat model. So we'll first define our LLM. Um, and I'm using Llama 3 Instruct. So I'm using Llama 3 hosted through all Llama chat um, locally, but you can use any model that you would like. Um, you can check the documentation on how to set up the model with um, LLMX. So once we have that done, we can define our PDF reader agent. And a PDF reader ag agent basically response to questions uh, using information uh, from PDFs. So we'll pass in our LLM um, object and then we can ask our question to the PDF reader agent. So the first thing we'll put is our question. So we'll ask it uh, to find a website in the document. And then the next thing we pass in is the list of files that we want to read. So in this case, we're giving it one file. And this is just some random um, book that I found. So let's print the response and see what we get from, from this. So we got our response back and you can see that uh, it was able to find the author's website inside of that document, which is exactly what we wanted. So now we want to take that um, response and we want to pass it over to the online agent so that it can look up that website and you know give us some information from it. So now let's define our online agent. So we do the same thing as the PDF reader. We pass in our LLM object and to get the response we'll, uh, we'll call the search function and we're going to be passing in for the question, we're going to be passing in the response that we got from the PDF reader. Again, we want to look up the website that um, it found in the document. So we're going to put response and we're also going to add our own question to the end of it. So we'll add a new line and then we'll say, uh, what is this website about? Um, and let's print that and see, see what we get from it. So we got our response back and you can see it says based on information from the internet and then it gives us information about that website. So again to summarize what's going on here we're getting that URL from the PDF, we're giving it to the online agent and the online agent is looking up that website and answering our question based on information from that website. So in this case um, the LLM, the online agent is receiving a URL, but it doesn't have to work that way. So we can actually not give it a URL or any website information and it will kind of do a Google search on its own to find the information that it needs. So in the, in the next example, I will be showing you how to, how to do that. So let's delete our PDF reader uh, and we'll change up the prompt to, to do that. So for the prompt, I'm going to be using something that the model has no way of knowing without Googling. So I'm going to be asking it what the latest version of Unreal Engine 5 is. Um, some information about it, basically. So without internet access, there's no way that it can answer this question. So let's put that prompt in and see what we get. So we got our response back and you can see it's saying, based on information from the internet, the latest Unreal Engine 5 update is 5.4 
and then it gives us some information about that um, update. It, it even includes a URL um, that we can go to to learn about this update. Um, and I can confirm that 5.4 is indeed the correct uh, version number and the latest update for Unreal Engine 5. So we can see that it's working properly and, and this response is pretty much um, exactly what we asked for. So in this case, this is a perfect response from the LLM. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to show for today. So thank you for watching.